Hello Tubesters, it's Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I just wanted to quickly show these off. I was going to actually varnish them today but it's uh, a bit too humid for that. So uh, discretion is a better part of valour I think. Uh, these are again the 15th uh, Light Infantry uh, French Napoleonic. I've got six more of the Carabiniers to do which are halfway through but I thought I'd show you these before I move them to a, a dust proof box out of the way. I'm bound to knock them over. And there's our officer, all blinged up. Let's say the client wanted the non-metallic. Uh, I've given him a grey horse, obviously. <laughs> uh, bit of practice for what I've got to what I've got to do for another commission. Not very good at greys, I must admit. There is some tonal variance in there. You just can't see it very well. Um, but yeah, that's our. That's our officer. Nice face. Uh, chasseurs, so they're all, well, they're all the, obviously, unless you're doing the, the flank companies, are all the same, but we've seen some of these types before, but I had to get them done. So these are the chasseurs. Uh, again, because these are, the, the, the clients got a, uh, wanted, obviously, he sent them up as a, like a parade ground look with all the plumes and everything, all the bling on. Um, I've left all the great coats the same colour. I'd normally mix them up, but uh, we're trying to stay away from the campaign feel on these. Here's our sergeant. Uh, the only other musician, the last, the Grenadier unit, the Imperial Guard unit, had drummers galore. These are only got the two musicians, one drummer. And the uh, the horn player here. As I say, the whole unit isn't far from being finished now. I'll just show you one last chasseur. As I say, they're all the same, but um, that's the only drawback with some of these. The poses, the poses are obviously all all identical. I've tried to do little horns on the uh, on the um, turn backs, uh, or at least show it on the one side where it's, you get some more depth. And the other one I'm saying is uh, it's further pulled in by the by the uh, cartridge box, but uh, there isn't a lot of depth in the turn back, so it's a bit hard to do things like the horns. Just show that they've got a badge there, really. So yeah, that's the. Uh, that's all this, the last of the chasseurs, the commanding officer, uh, the NCO and the horn player. And I'll get one of these down from the side here. And I'm just painting these at the moment. As you can see they're a fair bit to go yet. But they're not far from, from finishing really. The faces take a bit of time. Uh, and obviously the musket barrels doing the non-metallic takes a bit of time. Uh, but the actual woodwork, a couple of couple of highlights and that's done another red highlight to go on it put the emblem on the back of the uh, hunting horn on the back of the cartridge box uh, and these have got to have another white around the the cords and the straps as well so a bit to go on them but not that far away from doing that so when they when they're done and we've got a hopefully the humidity is supposed to break I think sometime late weekend you know, uh, we'll start the basin well varnish them and then during the early part of the week uh, the basing process should be underway and hopefully I should show you two I might show you one unit first and then the other depending if I if I get if I might I might be actually getting both done at the same time hopefully so guys thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look hope everything's going well with you and we will catch each other very soon on another video cheers